Today is the day my takeaway and backswing is forever changed. One of the greatest golf coaches in the world drastically improves my swing by simply fixing these small problems that you may also be doing but never even realized. Throughout this entire video, we talk about how to do proper shoulder tilt, insane feel versus real mechanics that blows my mind. And I found out one crucial thing that I've been doing wrong this entire time that may be one of the biggest game changers in my golfing career. So S2, let's go. We're gonna hop right to it though. You hit a couple balls. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I've lost everything. So it's very interesting um, for whatever habit, for whatever reason, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna blame it on the weather. Mm. <laughs> so go ahead and set up the ball. Yeah. And pressure in your toes a little further from it. Like there this. There you go, cool. So the very first thing you do in your golf swing for whatever reason, because your grip looks good, is your lead arm is starting to rotate yeah. like this. And then your lead arm from that point is staying on line this way and it goes up. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the opposite. Just take your setup, okay? Pressure's in the toes. Cool. So you're gonna feel that this arm doesn't rotate and your hands are gonna work more in. Mm -hmm. Keep turning and let your arms go in and back behind you feeling as much as you want. Okay, okay, we're just gonna go to the other side of it because yeah. I don't want to live in between it. Okay. So what would that feel like going back? So no forearm rotation, but the hands are gonna go around you. That. Yeah, kind of like that. And then yeah. don't do any like, I need to like smoke it. Okay. Just keep pretty still with it. Don't try to do anything with your wrist. You're just gonna keep it pretty solid. Okay, we're finding it. Okay. The last week, I, because of the backswing, I was just like in my head, I was like, how do I? How do you do this? How do I like, yeah, fix the, that thing? Cause it was like, it wasn't the greatest. Not a big deal. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. So couple things. So before, this is what I was kind of talking about. Your moves. So see how the club head gets a little inside? Yeah. And here, this got even more on line. Right now, then watch what your arm does here. So your arm goes up, 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 up. And now that's above the shoulder plane. Yeah. So like right here, I put a line on your shoulder. The button of the club is up. Okay. Now, if you look here, even though you rotated your forearms, you got your right arm deeper and wider. So see how that. This is after. Yep. Okay. There you go. So that's kind of like where you need to start. So a couple things that occur because of that. Notice you got more hip turn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what I don't like to have happen is when you make a backswing and you go like this, mm. you kind of lunge right. Oh, I see. And that's what we were kind of looking at. So you kind of went like this. Globally, you moved your whole pivot to the right. Yeah. And then when you turn, you're kind of like hitting straight down. On yeah. So it's not very shallow. Mm -hmm. The next project is on your downswing. If you look at this, like the club shallow is fine totally fine, but then you kind of have this little tilt back move when you hit. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna clean that up for you. Yeah, I was trying to, um, because I was coming a lot over the top this last week, so I was trying to feel the getting- Underneath? Yeah. Hard yeah. to do that when you're back though. You want to understand like this is a domino effect. Yeah. So if I'm like this on the backswing and I go like that, I'm not controlling the bottom. Yeah. So the very first thing that needs to occur is you control the bottom. Yep. Like I'm gonna be very redundant on that. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we don't have that piece. Like, gotcha. oh, I'm pulling it, but I'm also like thinning it. Yeah. Well, you're thinning it first. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go set up. Very first thing that you're gonna consider is your address. So yep. take your address. So you're standing further, pressures in the balls of the feet, a little bit further. Good, then the next piece is no form rotation. Every waggle that you take today is gonna feel this way. So okay. you're not gonna rotate that. As soon as this happens, your arms go up and out. I see. So you're gonna feel this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, do that again. Correct. Then the second feel, this whole package gets back here. Awesome. Now, don't like, don't try to land so much. Oh, okay. okay. So take it back, all the way back. Back, 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 back. Back here. So you see your right arm's deep. Okay, yeah. now what you're gonna do, this is your tilt. So if your head was on a wall, mm -hmm. you're gonna keep that yep. as you come down. 
Okay, so that's part two. Okay. So don't change your tilts. Just keep your head on the wall and hit out on it. So first input. Bingo. Very good. Yeah. Fixed. Fixed. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, like when golfers, they get spooked. It's like, well, wait a minute. Like last time I saw you, it's been a couple weeks because yeah. of rain. Yeah. Pretty stripey. Yeah, it was it was good. And then I uh, the last week I was like trying to really get like this backswing kind of fix and I was all over the place. Yeah, yeah. And then just it, don't try to do, don't try to fix anything. Okay. Like cool. if you're off, review what you've done in the past. Don't try to fix anything independently. Yeah. Just kind of keep what you're doing and then try to hit the ball on a line. Okay. Because what happens is you're going to go further and further away from what you're doing. Now, I get people that come in and they say, well, I've, I overdid what I was working on. Really? Like, <laughs> no, you, you're doing what you used to do. Yeah. Like something in there is, is happening like that. All right. So go ahead and set up. So yeah. walk me through what we're talking about. Um, so right now we're basically fixing my backswing in regards to like no having like pronation. A lot of it is just no pronation of the lead arm. And it's just Hands kind go of go in, in. So this is just in this way. Yeah. Just around you feeling. And then uh, so from after the takeaway, it's pretty, pretty much, this is not going that it's still staying, but I'm, I'm bringing this back. Yep. Which keeps you globally more forward and not going too far right. Gotcha. Yep. Um, okay. Cool. Then what? Um, and then just swing through. Nope. We had one more thing. We just talked about it. What? <laughs> so do your backswing. Okay. So notice how you have like a tilt. Don't bring your elbow oh. in front of you. So don't try to keep doing this. Oh, okay. I thought that's okay. not good. You're already good. So gotcha. take it back. So keep going back, 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 back. So it's deep back here, right? See how this elbow is back. It's back. It's not like that. Yeah. Just keep it back. It's already down. Okay. You don't need to squeeze them closer together. Oh, okay. okay. Got it, got it. Now see this tilt you have. Yeah. Keep that tilt on the downswing. Okay. Got That's it. for your consistency. So if you're here and you start doing this, I just moved further away from the ball. So perfect backswing, no forearm rotation, hands get deeper. Tremendous. Very good. Do that again. And then the other thing I was working on this week was just like that ground force thing that you were talking about in the last video or last session. Uh -huh. But that's why like I was trying to get in here and then pushing. Yeah, you don't don't worry about that right now. Yeah, just just as a thing. Yeah. Hands a little deeper for me. Deeper. Yep, there you go. Close. Good. Okay, now. I like all of that. Yeah. I'm going to give you one last little input. We're going to take the steepness out of this. Okay. So go to the top of your swing. So arms are deep. You're there. Okay. So as you're keeping your tilt, mm -hmm. which is this wheel yeah. or this angle is staying here, your pressure is left, right? Yep. So as you start to rotate, this club starts to fall behind you feeling. Okay. So this starts to feel like it's coming down a wall. Okay. So it's going to feel like it's getting further behind you but your body's not trying to do it. So it's this. That way, yes. Okay, okay you ready? Yeah. Same backswing, no form rotation deep, and feel the club kind of fall behind you. And before we see this transformation in the swing, it would be amazing if you can quickly subscribe and like this video down below. Every like and new subscriber to S2 Nation not only helps me bring all this amazing content with the greatest golf coaches in the world to all of you free of charge, but also, yup, just check with the golf gods and all subscribers will get a hole out this year, if not a hole in one. So please subscribe and like down below. Thank you very much. Okay, actually pretty decent. You came out of it. Don't tilt back. Don't tilt back like this. Mm -hmm. Just keep that tilt the whole way on the downswing. Same backswing. Bingo. Bingo. Did that feel okay? different? Yeah. Okay. That actually looked like golf. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. We're trending. It's nice to be able to see like a before and after. That's why I'm doing this. Now the input, we already have number one, what's the first input? No pronation. No pronation of the lead arm. Yeah. Okay. And then getting in here. Getting the arm deeper, right? Deeper and okay. keeping that. So if we look at that, we look here. Rotated arm lift, right? Kind of laid off. As before? Before. Yeah. yeah, before is always left. Okay. So the mass of the club is right here. Yeah. It's high and laid off. 
Okay. So what am I going to do from here? I'm going to go like that. Yeah. We don't want to do that. Yeah. So if we look at that, we're like, eh, I don't really like that. And here's my tilt or my inclination to the ground, if you want to call it that. Depends what can't golf coach camp you're in. <laughs> This has less forearm rotation, hopefully. Getting there. Hands are deeper. Right elbow is fine. See that? So that looks beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. That's opposite. See the button in the club is just under the yellow line? Yeah. The elbow at 90 degrees. I don't want that in front of you. Okay. So I don't want to see from here your elbows pinch together. Yeah because then the hands get two out here. Mm. They're two out in front of you. Got it. Well, if they get out here, I have to tilt the lower. I see. Which is kind of what you were doing. Yeah. So then from here, you, if you keep that, that inclination to the ground, the club falls back. See, that's way from the inside. See your left shoulder didn't come up? Yeah. So well, that's coming way inside out. So now if you keep this input, do you think your hips will open up? Eventually, yes. yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But if you don't, they're not going to open. But at least that was at least hitting out on it and drawing. See? Look at that. Gotcha. People are really concerned with hip turn. Yeah. It's like your hips won't turn if the club's steep. Mm -hmm. You're going to stand up. Got it, got don't it. Don't worry about hip turn. Okay. Okay, you already do that well uh -huh. when, you, when that is the input. Okay? All right, so let's talk about why this is important. So let's yeah. set up. My big concern here is that you don't make solid contact because when you do that, there's an emotional effect with you. <laughs> there is. Okay. So this left shoulder right here mm -hmm. is the low point. If I drew a line from your left shoulder to the ground, that's the low point of the swing. This is what you turn around. Now, that doesn't mean this doesn't move. This could move. Some players move it more than others. It doesn't really matter. So when you make a backswing, if we remember where that is, so go and do your normal backswing where you do it, right? So arms go in, back behind you, you're fine. There. So now this shoulder is somewhere in that same area, okay? Now we could thank Mac O'Grady for that. Thanks, Mac, I know I'm out. But um, Mac kind of talked about that. So that's the center of the swing. So when you start down and the club shallows, the left shoulder actually gets back to that radius and is lower. That's so you can hit the ball in the bottom of the arc. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, you don't have anything. Okay. Okay. So keep like, now you can open up because it's shallow. Now your handle's forward. Okay. Easy. Okay. So same input further from the ball, pressures in the toes, no form rotation. And you go do that backswing. Bingo. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Well, I tried to kill that. Okay. Rotated good. didn't fall behind you, right? Uh, this one right here. Yep. Yep. So you want to like the big thing that you got to learn to do. Yep. Okay. Can I jump in there? Yes, please. So we talked about side bend. Yeah. Okay. Side bend is essentially this bend here. Yeah. Side bend is not this bend here. Okay. That's the radius move. That's actually tilting back. So if you look at me here, if I go like this, my head went backwards. Yeah. The bottom of the arc now moved back. Mm. That is a no-no. Okay. Got okay. Because yeah. then you're like, I got to throw the club like, like steep into the golf ball. Mm -hmm. But if I'm this way and I keep that, I'm not saying like get like crazy, but your left bend's established. Yeah. If I keep it there, see now I'm ahead of it. I can make good contact. Okay. Right? Got it. Yeah, yeah. Which is number one. I was getting, uh, is this a seven? <laughs> seven. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. We got to go down the clubs. So backswing, no forearm rotation. Good, keep the tilt. Oh, okay. Yep, you got it. Yeah. And it's not this, no, it's... just keep that. This. Yep, just shallow it. Yeah, got it. Just be smooth with it. We're not trying to hit it far. Very good. Yeah, I got a... little bit of drop of the shoulder, but pretty good. Uh, right shoulder? Yeah, you, you don't want that to change. Am I not dropping this though, for... So, so if you drop the... If the shaft's shallowing, yeah. and you drop your shoulder, you're gonna hit the ground. Oh, so it's it's more of just a shaft. But it's oh, okay, got it. So it's not like because I thought this was like. Well, no, that's tilting back. So, so look, side bend is just the the angle that you are at impact. It's not this. It's not tilting. It's this. The yes, yes. Yeah. So you're gonna actually probably feel 
that you're not even side bending, but oh. you're gonna be. Yeah. You, you'll oh, okay. be there. Got it. So it's this. Hands go in, keep going behind you. Good, keep your tilt. Shell the club, keep your tilt. There you go, good. Okay, you ready? We're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna hit one like that. Okay. So left shoulder feels low, yep. right shoulder feels higher. And this is, this is not going down. No. Yeah. It's like this. Correct. And then the only thing that's shallowing is this, not the hook. Okay. Correct. Yep. Better. Better. Okay, let's take a look at before and after on that. Yeah. This is actually good for you to kind of see. Would you say then you're feeling like you're dropping your hands then to shallow it or no? No, the, the wrists actually just kind of let the club fall back. You don't want to straighten your arms down. So you, you, what you don't want to do is you don't want to do this. You don't want to straighten your arms down mm. to do it. Yeah. Because when that the time it takes for me to do this, this isn't doing anything. Okay. There's some people that do that as a feel, but they yeah. don't actually do it. So it's it's when I'm here, I'm just... It's just the wrist just kind of goes that way. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you. So this is kind of the difference. So before, you kind of were hanging on your right foot. See that? Yeah. And then you kind of slid right, rotated the club in, lifted the arms up, and then your center of your pelvis is too far right. That would be a true like reverse pivot. Okay. If we were going to say there was one. So the center of your hips is too far right relative to the upper axis. Okay. And then if you look here, this is you feeling no forearm rotation. We call it pronation. Arms go in. All right. And then you can see that the center of your pelvis is a little bit more forward looking. See that? Yeah. Should the upper body be more right? Eh, maybe a little bit. You know, that that's, tends to be your thing. The long run, that'll go away. Okay. Okay, then from here, you're on your right foot, arms lifted, and then the arms come in steep. And if you look at your body, this tilt is this way. See that? Like yeah. the club's like casted, hips back not kind of ideal here you feel left shoulder stays down club falls back right better things are a little bit more on top of each other so yep. if you look at your head and the center of your chest and we're on top of each other okay got it got it got right? it so like it doesn't look wonky now in the long run which i don't really care about this club will have more angle to it Got it. But, like, yeah, we'll figure that whatever. Later. Yeah. Okay. But then as you come down, look where your left shoulder is and your hip. Your hip, everything's more forward. If you look here, you just kind of stand up and then the arms go. See that? Yeah. This has more lean. So there's less throw. And then the arms are straighter on the exit. Got it. And ideally that blue line's a little left. Yeah. 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 Like on top of each other. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Do it again. Yeah, let's do it. So if you can control these aspects, then we can start loading the shaft. But you can't, you want to work distally. You don't want to work like out here first. Yeah. You work here and then outwards. Yeah. And then this shallowing is going to square the face. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Yeah. You just hit a, every ball you've hit doing this is been starting slightly right and drawing back. Okay. So when I go here, it's I start just pulling this back. Just feel like it goes behind you. Would uh, would you say like to get there? I'm using my more of my right arm to kind of just bring it. Sure, you could. Okay. Yeah, you could kind of feel like the arms go around you more this way. Yeah. Feeling mm. like if I'm gonna throw a ball, it's gonna go like that. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna go like this. Okay. And then this is going down. And then you just keep your tilt. So this is on a tilt. Yeah. Right, we don't want to lose this tilt because this ruins the rotation and the axis of hitting the low point. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to go like this. Yeah. Right. Sure. We know that's artificial side bend. Yeah. So we're here. So the when your pressure gets here, this left leg is going to straighten to me. Yeah. This is going to stay tilted. That's your feel. Yeah. So this right hip's higher and rotating. This isn't tilted back. And so look where your handle is. See, it's a head. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to feel. Now, you're not going to do that necessarily, but you certainly have to feel it. So, like this left leg's straightening behind you, this right hip's driving to the target. Okay. Yeah, I guess, like for me, it, it seems like I would go crazy over the top, but maybe not. No, not even close. You okay. were over the top. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, got it. Very good. Just got to shallow it a little bit more. Gotcha. And that's not over the top? No, it started right and drew back. Got it, got it, not got even it. close. Good. Do it again. Good job. Okay. That fills over the top to you? Yeah. Like crazy. Okay, wait till you see this. <laughs> like okay. insanely over the top, but... Not even close. Oh, man. I love it. Feels versus reels. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not even close. So we already know the input of no form rotation. Whether you do it or not, you're going to get there. Yeah. Okay, so I, all this is is like an eval. Yeah. So you go, okay, no form rotation. So closer, still have a little bit. So right there, how, am I... Is that what... I'm doing this. Yeah, and you're doing a little bit of going set up. So yeah. You're doing a little bit of uh, flexion in your wrist. So if you didn't do any of it, it would kind of be more like that. So I should just do that? Yeah, yeah, but whatever. And then up here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. that's, that's minor. Minor, okay. The path of the hands is good though. So see how your hands are, are deeper? Right elbows down. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Hips are turned. Eureka. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you think you're going over the top. Now remember, that's your shoulder plane feeling that because you're not used to turning on this axis. Yeah. So as you come down, is that club going over the top or is it dropping behind you? It's definitely dropping behind me. Okay. So this should encourage you to open the hips. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That's the trick. See, that's actually hitting in to out. That's why that ball started right and hooked. Yeah. So in order for me to open my hips though, I need to get lower? No, Or you just need to keep your left leg straightening behind you, right hip driving higher. So left hip, no, it's oh, stop tilting. <laughs> yeah, I keep tilting, <laughs> it's like this. So this is gonna go back, this is gonna stay high. This is high, this okay. is going back, this is straightening. Okay, and that's the feel. Yeah, that's what keeps your spine on top of it. I see, okay. But on a circle. Yeah. Got it, got it. That was good, but, but I'm not that concerned about that as much as you are. Okay. Because I know you go online and you look at all the pros, you're like, look how open he is. I'm like, yeah, cool, yeah. awesome. But that <laughs> doesn't matter. Like you can open a ton and just wipe it. Yeah. Like, let's not worry about that piece. Okay, okay let's do that again. Don't worry, I do this lesson every day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. But then is there a pronation from here up? Nope. So it's like? Just leave it dead. Dead, okay, got it. And keep it really simple. So you're gonna keep the tilt. You're gonna allow your hips to turn without side bending backwards. Okay, ready? So hand path and do that. Good, keep doing it. That was close. How was contact on that? It sounded pretty good. Did it feel decent? Yeah, relatively. Okay. So you have some space, right arm goes behind you. Okay, tilted back a little, you felt that? Yeah. Okay, do it again. We're over here going, man, that looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, do that again. <laughs> you just need to keep rinsing and repeating. A little bit better hips, do not tilt the shoulders back on the downswing. Decent, decent. That sounded like golf. I got three really good ones, so we're gonna pick one of those to look at in a minute. Okay. Unless this one's just that much better. Oh, you tilted your shoulders. You felt that? This one? Yeah. Like slightly. Slightly. Let yeah. me do one more. I think I got it. <laughs> like you just need to get that out of the system because like kind of naturally thinking like, okay, if I don't do it, it's... Yeah, you're going to slice it. Over, the, over the top, but like, yeah. I got to just feel this kind of like over the top. Decent. Okay, so you haven't hit one wipe. Yeah. That was a little push. You ready for this? <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was waiting for the Tiger Woods shank today. Oh, hello. Guys. Oh my goodness, I yeah. I didn't see it, why not? <laughs> Gotta bring that to the table. I know, I know. Genesis week, okay. <laughs> sorry, Tiger. No, I'm not really that sorry. I do this a lot, and I could kind of tell by your energy that you're like searching, searching, searching. I I'm, I'm keep trying to push you into yeah. like, let's just work on these like three, four things. Yeah. Don't worry about anything else. So really, really good here. You had like three in a row that were exceptional. I'm just picking the last one. So here we go. We go on the backswing. Good hand path, good hip turn, good depth. So you look at that, you're like, you know what? That looks fine. Yeah. You can play from there. Yeah. Okay. 
pressure's left, do you keep your tilt? We'll find out. Pretty good. Club could drop a little more, right? But your hands aren't over the top. See where your hands are actually inside? So this left arm, if I put a line here, that left arm is actually still inside. It's not over. Yeah. So what you got to probably work on at home is keeping that shoulder plane and getting this to kind of square up. That's going to be the trick. What's What do you mean by the squaring up? The knee. So like, let yeah. me show you Tommy Fleetwood. Okay. Okay. He's pretty good at golf, right? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he has his moments. <laughs> so watch Tommy. So Tommy's up here at the top. I'm going to put both of you together. So does that look pretty similar? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, his hair's longer. Dang it. <laughs> Shouldn't have got the haircut. <laughs> right? So that, that looks pretty similar. Yeah. So if I was putting a line from, I know the camera angle's a little different. So for the internet, like armchair junkie guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty similar. Okay. Then if you look at his transition, watch how he keeps his shoulder plane. Right? Knee square. See that? Oh, okay. That makes sense. But he doesn't tilt He doesn't tilt it back. He's actually just going this way. And yeah. So his hips are already open before his left arm is parallel to the ground. Now, what's funny is Tommy on the range mm -hmm. goes like this. Yeah. Like, why? He's not even doing it. Yeah. It's just a feel. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Not my problem. <laughs> okay. And then from here, same shoulder plane. The only difference is what? The rotation of the legs and maybe the shaft shallowing a little bit. So a little bit of this going this way is the only real difference. And that will be avoided if I just have more pressure on my left. Potentially, yeah. And then there and there, yeah. And just kind of training that without dropping your right shoulder. Okay. Right. Now, yeah. if you look at this coming down, you're rotating good. The club, look at your club. The club's shallowed, but the hip isn't really rotating. Yeah. Right, just on this one. But pretty good. Like, see how the exit's better? So I think you need to put a little bit of attention, like learning how the hips move, independently of hitting a ball. Yeah. Can I try the, the hip stuff? Yeah, okay. for sure. Okay. Okay. So that's, I don't know what that looked like, but. That is better, kiddo. Yeah, so that was like what I was working on over everything else, just because I remember um, a problem I was having is like, I was landing left, but I was just landing like vertical versus like getting, going forward. Yeah, correct. And you said, you said that was a problem. So I was like, let's just double down on getting a little more forward. Okay, let me, let me I'm gonna do this at 10% yeah. speed. Incrementally, look, I'll, I give you this, I give you guys feedback and then yeah. over time it happens. Yeah. You know, there's no such thing as, oh, you take a lesson, now you're fixed. It's like, yeah, like, no. No, I mean, I, I kind of realized this in this kind of like, Four days ago, I, I like scored my best ever round. Yeah. And then I was just incrementally adding, going back. And so I feel like all these what lessons. What did you have... shoot, by the way? Oh, man, I should have shot an, a 79, but um, I shot an 87. Okay. I like messed up on three holes in the back nine. <laughs> okay. Well, but, I mean, that's pretty good. You only been playing for a couple months. I mean. Yeah. I mean, shoot. That, and that's what I'm like realizing with these lessons. Like, I'll break something for two weeks, but then I've. We like cemented one good thing and then it's just like yeah. compounding. So that, that yeah, that of course I was just like striping everything and then the short game wasn't great. Tiger Woods. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I gotta get it in there. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so that was good. The club just didn't fall back. Yeah. That I, was a really good body move, by I the way. I was just trying to, I, so I thought, I was like, this for sure is probably going to hey, go. Hey, like, let's, let's look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you got, I prefaced, I was like, this is either going to push or shake, but like, I think. No, you got it right. Part, that, was, that was a lot of good stuff there. Good. On the downswing, really good. See how the hips lower, square, chest stayed on top of it. Yeah. Hand path good, club head, too high. Yeah, that's, I didn't really focus on that on this one. But that's pretty good. And then hips opened, see? Yeah. And then the ball just went to the right. <laughs> yeah. I think this one's gonna be a good one. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Nice little draw. Yeah, so. That's a good looking golf swing now. So look at this, that, that's, that, mechanically that's all you're doing. 
Okay, good. And then we're gonna have a chat. Okay, great. Okay. I don't have any issues with what I'm seeing here. Yeah. So your input of you going down and left. Yeah. Is that the feel? Uh, for me, yeah, down, okay. down and left. The left side bend. Okay. See the pelvis, see the hand path. Hands are great. Shafts shallowing out, pretty good, right? Got a lot of space there and the club is now inside the hands. Bam, yeah. that looks like a tour player. This is gonna continually get better. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You're in a good spot there. See how the shoulders are kind of like closed, but level? Yeah. Hips are open and you're rotating around the corner. Pretty nice. Yeah. Exit's beautiful, club face square. And there's a little bit of side bend there, a little too much, but that's fine. And the exit's beautiful. And the yep. ball was a nice little chippy draw. Important thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you just did a very nice, like, career low round of golf. Yeah. Okay. So you, you said the wheels came off. What does that mean? So I did pretty well in the front nine. I, I think I was like four over or something. And then uh, it had like a 30 minute break because it was like backed up at the nine. And then I first shot, I uh, got a double bogey and I was like, oh, sheesh. And then I kind of like- you say it like PC like that? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then the next one, like it should have been like a easy par five. And then I, I was, you know how I was saying, like I, I keep hitting it off the hosel. Yeah. I just had, I hit it off the hosel three times and that like blew up that hole. Yeah. And then I kind of just went from double bogey, double bogey, and then went bogeys, bogeys, bogeys. Okay. And one par. Okay. So, so like, so like you had a contact issue. So it's yeah. kind of like wraps back to like, you need to have, and it doesn't really matter like your level of golfer. You could be a college golfer. Yeah. Pros already do this that are playing. Like they can, Pros can do whatever they want. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Like, I don't care about that. Yeah. But an amateur golfer to a college golfer has to stay within like the box. Yeah. Okay. So um, now in my line of or field of work, which is we're not talking about mental stuff or short game or anything. We have to have certain tools that we go to that, that I know I can control contact. Yeah. That goes right back to that radius control. Yeah. Because if I can do that, I know I can make contact with the golf ball. Then the other piece, if you're steep, you're gonna start wiping golf, golf balls or maybe even like hit the heel. Yeah. So when you're playing now, I want you to build a routine that enforces the mechanics that you're trying to do. Yeah. So I'm gonna control the bottom, control the bottom. I'm gonna keep this shoulder on this tilt and don't let it go, bam. Yeah. So that I can control the bottom all the time. Okay. Then I know this club's gonna, you know, go back behind me. I can. Boom, hit a draw every single time. Yeah. Keep it like that simple. Mm -hmm. Don't like, I'm going to add this to the file and this to the file. Because pretty yeah. soon then you're not reinforcing anything that's like congruent when you're playing. Got it. Okay. okay. Lastly to this is you should take maybe a round of golf of nine holes mm. and implement this stuff as much as you can. Like yeah. don't think of it from a score. Just think of it from like a pattern control. Like hit it straight. Like here's a good one. Probably for you is if I was aiming off the tee or on my second shot, try to finish every ball in the left rough. Okay, got Just it. Just hit a solid straight ball that tries to curve the left rough. Okay. Middle of the green, left side, or the uh, left side of the green. Like just have a pattern going on. You're like, oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Okay. Right? Instead of there's a pin here, a pin here, and then a uh, dog leg. It's like, no, no, no. Just aim straight down the middle, finish the left rough. And then you can start, we can talk about like where you're aiming and everything. If I took a ball and I dropped in the middle of the green every single time, you probably wouldn't shoot over par. Yeah, for sure. 100%, Yeah. right? So, but if I took that ball and I put on the left side of the green, yeah. probably wouldn't shoot over par. Mm -hmm. Even if it's 60 feet, yeah. you're probably gonna have a tap in five footer at one point, yeah. right? Even if you three jack it. Yep. So that's gonna be your homework. So what I would do, yeah. based off this mechanics that you're doing, yeah. is do that on a round or two. Yeah. Like pick your target, nine holes, don't have to do 18. White flag, start it dead at it, and then overdraw it to the left. Okay. That's what I would like to do. Okay. So no wipes or anything like that. All okay, right, cool. So let's actually do one. Okay, Ready? cool. Okay, so let's actually like not make it mechanical. So, so ball's right here. Okay. Yeah. All right, come back here. Right there, so like three steps, four steps. Yeah. We're gonna put this at the white flag. Probably like right there. Okay. 
but we're gonna hit it straight at it and we're gonna overdraw it left. Okay. Okay, so what would, so what would that feel like? Um, I mean, like do I, like what, I, what we're doing? Yeah, just um, global, like put it all together. I mean, I just gotta be like, kind of just more patient by doing the no pronation at all. And then uh -huh. just landing, for, for me, but it feels like landing forward left and then pushing and then kind of just with keeping this intact and then letting this drop. Killer. Love it. Now, yeah. no, 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 no. Put it all together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like here? Yeah. If you're uh, judgmental over that, you're done. Okay, <laughs> that felt so a little better. <laughs> go ahead and do that. That was beautiful. Oh, man. Okay. Did that feel like your practice swing? Nope. Okay. So we have to attach that to a feel. Okay. So I'm standing here. I'm like, okay, what is a what does a shot look like that I want to hit? Okay. So I'm going to start this at the target. Yeah. I hit up a different ball flight than you. So I yep. start mine right, but you're going to start it at it and mm -hmm. you're going to finish it left. Okay. So what does that feel like? Well, that feels like this. Then just do it. Okay. Yeah. You just you have that feel? Yeah, I have it. I'm going to try it one more time though. Close. That was way better. So a little bit of divot there, right? Yeah. So what do you think happened? I didn't shallow this club. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Okay. So that's a good feedback loop. That's what that is. Yeah. So that's the appropriate action. Mm -hmm. So when you get off, don't change anything up. Yeah. Make the feedback loop better. Okay. So let's do that again. So you're right here. Okay. And you go, okay, like I see a really good shot because you have to see it or you're not going to be able to do it. Yeah. Okay. And then make that motion based on what you've been working on. So deep arms, keep your tilt, let it shallow. Okay, walk in right now. Don't think about it. Make it feel like that. Oh man. Okay, did it feel like that? Uh, too fast. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to like, shallowing part right now is kind of. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so you just you just felt like you needed a correction there. You yeah. needed to have more of a shallowing feel. So you're going to feel that attach it to your target. Because I know if this thing gets falling back, it's going to start right and start hooking. Yeah. I know that's going to happen. Pretty oh, decent. So Pretty cute. decent. So what I'm shallowing. seeing with your long club is you, number one, um, all the input is correct that you're doing. Yeah. It's just not enough. Okay. So the first thing that's happening is your right arm is not deep enough. Okay. Arm lifts here, and then it can't shallow. Yeah, so you can't go forward. Yeah, it's steep. Yeah, and then you stick it in the ground. Yeah, so let's go back here. So we know the right arm is not deep enough. Yep. Now from there, shallow it like crazy. Good. Do that right now. Better. A little right, but better. Yeah. Okay. So. That's how you're gonna start testing this. So yeah. what, I, what I would say, this is just me, I'm a little bit analytical. Yep. You're not at all, by the way. <laughs> um, sorry guys, he's very. What I need you to do is learn how to, you're, you don't know how to operate in both spaces. Yeah. You operate really well when like the sock drawer is perfect yeah. and everything's lined up, because I do too. So that's like really important to me. However, you have to be able to operate over here your swing changes when you go over here. Yeah. You need to kind of coalesce them and bring them together. Okay. This is how you do it. You got it. So you're gonna test like, okay, this week, 10 balls running this way after you do 10 balls of, of block practice. Yeah. Then you come back and you do some random stuff mm -hmm. and then see if it looks different, because it does. Yeah. Like you start getting more arm lift, um, you start looking like you stand up more, like all those things start occurring. Yeah. And you need to start recognizing, oh, this is happening when I'm reacting to a target because that's what's happening. Yeah. Okay. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Now let's do it completely back to where we were because let's just assume that we hit 10 balls. Yeah. And you're going to go heavy mechanics again. Okay. Okay. So show me the backswing you're working on. Keep going. Good. And then you're going to keep your tilt and shallow the club. Good. Okay, now just chip a ball like that. You're just gonna hit it 20 feet. Exactly. That was, if I filmed that, you'd look at that and go, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, okay. do that again. Better, there we go. Okay, 
This is your project. Yep. First project is cleaning up a little of the backswing. So you're taking this out of the swing. Yes. And this out of the swing. Yes. Okay, so your hands are going to be kind of docile, working more in and back. So this yep. gets a little bit more back. Okay. okay number one. Yep. Number two is what? Pressure goes left, keep it tilt. Yep, keep it tilt. Okay. Yeah. Don't let this go that mm -hmm. way because then you get jammed up. Yeah. Okay. That was actually a reaction to you being lifted. Mm -hmm. For with the higher that your hands get out in front of you, there's no way you're going to rotate your hands just come out. Yeah. Right. So you start to tilt back to lower the handle. Yeah. And then thirdly is this club's going to shallow out. Yeah. Okay. And then lastly, we got we have geese issues around yeah. here. <laughs> just, wow, they're surrounded by us right now. I'm trying to get a free golf lesson. Yeah. So the the shallow part for me is again, it's just the club head just falls back, just like that. Yeah, as you rotate. Yeah, you just get good at that. I mean, probably not like oh, I'm gonna pull out a five iron to feel it, but like if you're hitting wedges and stuff, it matches up real easy. Okay, cool. Like you'll get it really, really quick. Gotcha. Can I pull out the driver? Yeah, let's do it. Just once? Yeah. Let's get this thing out of here. Come on, guys. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't get it. Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> move, 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 move. So we used to have like a, two dogs out here yeah. that would run around and there were no birds. And now they're just in the <laughs> station. And they keep trapping coyotes. Oh, God. It's like, what are you guys doing? Like, coyotes <laughs> is what keeps Sorry. the balance. Actually, not bad. Not bad. Keep the right arm deep at the top. Okay, ready? Yeah. Go to the top, right arm deep. Hit it. Feel the difference? Yeah. Take the lift out. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's better. So your arm's deeper there. Yeah. And you did shallow it. See? Nice. Like this is your big priority. You get here and then see your tilts better. Club falls back. That's pretty good. Just kind of straighten your right arm at it a little bit. Just don't do that. Yeah, whatever. Like you're not gonna do it every time. But that's pretty good. It goes right around the corner. That was a pretty good shot. Yeah. Just a little right. Yeah. My, my, right now the, the driver, I'm just like wiping it because I keep doing all the wiping way. it or blocking it. Like sending it over there. Over there? Yeah. That's from your steep back swing. Yeah. So when your arms lift, they come out, you start with a shut face, you start hitting it left and slicing it or pulling it. Yeah, that was so that was what happening in my record round like three days ago is like I, I with those mechanics I had, I could get away with the shorter irons. Yeah. And then yeah, the they're like more par fives in the end and then yeah. I just started like Yeah, you start lifting and then going over it and i couldn't hit the five or the driver but you got to kind of slow that backswing down and get there yeah with your driver Can't and just th it this up. thing this it's, it's so weird right now it's like man i feel like all of them are gonna oh uh, they're not though i know it's 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 a crazy feel that i feel like i'm so over the top right now but it's not <sighs> well done yeah. I need to send you these videos. So while I'm training until my hands bleed, I can guarantee you that video right there in that thumbnail will be pretty amazing. YouTube told me they picked it out specifically for you. So, see you there. <laughs>